What's up guys, it's Denny and I'm back with a new tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to create scroll on phone. It is great for any type of user interface animation, so let's jump right in. Firstly, we have to head to Adobe Illustrator and create our files. In the first file, I created a phone and palm without our thumb. When you're creating the crease for a thumb, make sure that you mark where's the center so that your thumb can rotate around it without no problems. We're going to save thumb in a separate file. In the third file, we're going to create our Instagram feed. I created three posts for purposes of our scroll effect. We will create three files in total. It is time to animate. We're going to open After Effects and create our new composition. Mine is, as usually, set to 1400 width and height, and I'm making the background nice yellow color. Firstly, we're going to upload files to our Adobe After Effects. Then, we're going to put them in a timeline in this order. Phone and the palm will be at the bottom layer, Instagram feed in the middle and thumb in the upper layer. We are going to adjust each of the layer to the composition and make sure that everything is at the right place. Then we are going to create a rectangle by rectangle tool. Make sure that the size of a rectangle is the same as the Instagram feed. We are going to put our rectangle shape above our Instagram feed file. Then we're going to alpha mat the feed with the rectangle. That means that our Instagram feed will be only appearing in the phone space. Now it's time to create some keyframes. First what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create scroll for our phone. I'm going to scroll twice with the pause at the middle post. Don't forget to easy ease the keyframes. Now it looks the right way. It is time to put some life in our finger. Remember when I was telling you to mark where is the center of your crease? Yeah, there we're gonna attach the anchor point of our thumb. Once you have it, it is time to create keyframes for our thumb. We're going to create three keyframes. One, the current position. Then the second, slightly rotated. And then copy the first keyframe again. Easy ease those keyframes and copy them and paste them to the second scroll. It is time to create our light. When we're liking at pictures on the Instagram, we usually tap twice. So we're gonna move the thumb twice up and twice down. The first keyframe needs to be our current position. Second frame will be slightly up, then the finger goes down again, then up and then get down. Therefore, we will have five frames. I'm liking the last picture. Make sure that everything is adjusted and everything looks natural. Now we're going to create our heart. You can download it or you can draw it by pen tool, which is what I'm doing. Then I will position the heart to the center of the last post and scale it accurately when I tap the post. I am also adjusting transparency. So that when the heart is scaling, it's also changing the transparency and vanishing. Again, don't forget to easy ease both keyframes for scale and keyframes for opacity. 
and we're done. I hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment below and see you at the next tutorial.